Dennis, aka the technician, just spending the day. We about to go out here, you know, make some things happen. Uh, what we gonna get into today, Dennis? Um, well, we're gonna um, pick up two bikes. We out of Long Island, and um, bring those bikes back to Queens. So we're looking at like a four-hour day right there. Drop those bikes, pick them up in Long Island, then go to Queens, drop the bikes off, come back to the shop, and uh, I'll finish up these two bikes in here because it's the holidays. So. You know, the fellas want their bikes so they can ride. So that's, you know, it's just a hectic day. But this is an every day. See, that's why they call him the technician. Yeah, every day. Get it in. So yeah. keep watching, it's going down. Some of the biggest struggles, biggest obstacles you overcome with these bikes, man, putting these bikes together, Dennis. Customers. Customer is either parts not available and having to wait, or it's the customers themselves. Like you just you need a part like today. Like today, as a matter of fact, I need a part today. It's gonna kill me if I don't get that part because now I gotta deal with the customer who's ready to have his bike, who thought his bike was gonna be ready today. And if it's not, it's gonna create a problem. So that could be that could be one of the major obstacles. So you're looking at like parts availability, and then making sure that the customer, you know, has their bike when you say you're gonna have it. So, or you know, your vision for a bike is not the same vision as a customer. So, you know, just the flip floppy stuff about that. You know, it's like, hey, you know, the customer, I want this today, but tomorrow, yo, I see something new, change the whole idea that we had, and let's do something different. That can be a headache. But you know, I mean, still at the end of the day, I mean, I love it. I love this bike thing. I actually love it. So, you know, you, you got to take the good with the bad with anything that you do or something that you love. You know, that, that just comes with the territory. So, why choppers and Harley? 
Dennis, what's good with those? But yeah, I just like the style of it. The whole like it was a whole like a bad boy image to him. You know, that's why I liked it. It was like it's just something different. Like everybody was doing street bike, street bike, street bike. So you know, the Harley is just like a you know throughout history, Harley is just a sign of you know money being different. Just some outlaw shit. I'm not an outlaw. We're not outlaws, but it just it's just a sign of just being different. You know, like you know you get that. You get this bad boy image of bad boy stigma with you, and you know, like, I don't know. It, that Harley is just Harley and Chopper is just the bikes to have, not to knock the, you know, the, uh, you know, Asian bikes and stuff like that, like the Kawasaki's and the Yamahas and stuff like that. But it's something about that American-made sound, like when you crack that throttle and that the noise that muffler makes is like it, it can't, you can't compare it. it. You can't. You have other companies try to mimic it, but it's nothing like the sound of a Harley or just the way it looked, the way the engine is made. It's just Nothing like it. Nothing like it. Gotta get that part, huh? Always gotta always get a part. But now Harley or another dealer, we gotta get another part. So, uh, we need a pressure plate for a 90 to 97 soft tail. Yeah. I don't wanna say I broke it, it's just broke. City, you know, and, uh, see if they have it. They said they have it because I damn sure need it. So, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, with that part. Let me see it. Damn Three man. pieces. It's cost. This is, and what's these pieces we're picking up? This is for the clutch. Somebody broke them. I'm not going to say it was. Uh huh. What's the one right over there? We got the other. So, we got success. It's a success. We'll see. We'll see if we got the right stuff. I mean, I'm hoping it's the right stuff, you know? And uh, get this, get my boy's bike back on the road. And, uh, that'll be it. That'll be one less problem down today. You know, like you can see, if it didn't have it, if you don't have the parts, that becomes a problem. That creates a problem. Not having the right parts. So we got the right parts. So he should be done today. Happy customer. Thanks for good business. Good business makes for a happy day. So, you know, we back here, you see the parts in hand. Pick up the Harley store, got the gloves on, that's the technician gloves. So, what we, what we doing over here? What you working on right now? Uh, we're replacing this charging system. I mean, this charging system embeds the system that charges the battery as the bike is running. So, you want to, like, do bikes got alternators? Well, yeah, this is considered the, uh, the alternator of the bike. You know what I'm saying? We got what's called a rotor, this is the stator. And then we have what's called a regulator. This turns the AC current that this creates mm. and the DC current. So that's what pretty much powers the bike, you know, keeps the battery charged. These little, these items right here. So I'm just gonna replace them. And they should be as good as new. Back on the road, rock boy, back on the rock boy on the road. So that's what we're doing right now. Gotta make sure it gets done today. Gotta get done today. So, you know, cut the time, make sure the homie is happy. You know, tell other people, come to Rock Boy Station, get your work done here, you know? Yes, sir. Yes, then, sir. Just don't play. Yeah. Okay. So here I am trying to get it done. You know? How many years been putting bikes together, building bikes? Uh, it started in um, 04, 03 actually, 04, 04, 04. 04, 03. Actually, it's like mid 03. I finished the bike actually, like, it took me like a year and a half to finish my first bike. It was like, I finished it in like 06. So, actually, I got the bike title as 06. You know, yeah. So, yeah, about a year and a half. This is my first bike. Getting the right parts, getting the right look. Yeah, about a year and a half took me for my first build. And I started like in mid 03. I finished it in 06. So, yeah, and then now that first bike, that first bike went to the Javits Center. Mm, the Javits Center, that's me. Yeah, that was my first, first bike went to the Javits Center. And I heard your, your bike, your first bike you built, you know, your baby. Yeah. Somebody walked in, saw the bike, and they wanted to buy it on the spot. 
I love it. 